Hello guys, so I am back home in San Francisco and I'm just gonna film a little vlog today Me and my mom are going to the mission now I really want a burrito because I haven't had qual Mexican food in a while and say hello mommy Hello <laughs> um, And we're gonna go to the grocery store get some goods because we're gonna make some spring rolls So yeah, this is actually gonna be like kind of like a cooking tutorial. So yay <laughs> Yay! Ooh, oh. <laughs> so I've been back in San Francisco for, I think, about a week now. I spent a lot of time at home, also just like working on some videos and stuff, because it's pretty early right now and I get out of school really early compared to my friends, so not a lot of people are back in the Bay. So I haven't really seen too many people, but yeah. Oh, I met a, uh, I met a fellow YouTuber. Uh, who I met online actually, which was pretty cool. Anna, Anna Lee. Uh, she was really sweet. We like got lunch yesterday. It was really, really nice. You can, because it's right there. You can turn if you want, but oh, I'll just get off here. So I got the goods. I got a super carnitas burrito, which is pretty much what I always get, and a small horchata. Um, yeah, it was a super long line. I mean, it's always a long line, and it's lunchtime. It's like 1 a.m. or sorry, 1 p.m. right now, and I think there was like a school trip there or something. But it's honestly so weird coming back to the mission because growing up, we used to come here a lot, just to, like either do some kind of like grocery shopping or go to the fabric store, a bunch of different thrift stores. Yeah, no, it's super interesting to just come back here and like San Francisco as a whole is always changing, but um, I don't know. It's it's different. <laughs> so I got this at La Taqueria. It's um, crap, what, what street was that on? 25th? It's 25th in Mission. And um, or it's on Mission Street at 25th. And so, yeah, just a super carnitas burrito, avocado, sour cream, uh, beans. <laughs> Carnitas and cheese. That was the last thing. Yeah. Yeah, meat juices all over myself. So kind of on my camera. <laughs> the solid burrito. It's been La Taqueria has been dubbed like the best in the mission. I'm gonna be so bold as to say that it probably isn't. Um, there are a lot of other really great taquerias, and I think that it's good for tourists because like you know you can go to this place and get some qual food so you don't have to like like there are a ton of taquerias in the mission so like you don't have to pick and choose through them but there are definitely some other good spots i don't know the names of them at all because i never pay attention i just walk in and i recognize it by sight but i know that there's one on valencia and i believe 16th which made really dank carnitas tacos and then there's a place i want to say it's 16th in mission yeah you can definitely find some other really quality Mexican food in the mission. There's a ton of really good spots, so if you don't want to wait in a super long line, you don't have to. Still to this day, I think my favorite Mexican food would be my ex's grandma's Mexican food. Her meat and beans and rice was so good. The best part is when you get to the bottom, that's where all the juices are because, you know, gravity. So it was real good. It was real good right now. I always end up eating like one and a half portions, like I'm full. I love Lachata so much. <sighs> well, I actually had the idea of making like horchata with boba. That was a while back when the boba phase was huge in San Francisco. It would actually be pretty good. Okay. Alright, we made it to the supermarket. It's clearly an Asian supermarket. This brings me back. If you guys like soy milk, you gotta have some Vita Soy. So good. These are carbonated drinks. It's the ones that have the marble in them. Um, I'm sure you've seen them before. Like, you pop it, and then there's a little marble in here. But my favorite one is the peach one. I don't know if they have it. Oh, here we go. Peach! If you're Asian, you know. Look at all of these cracker boxes. We used to have so many of these all over the house. I think we still do, and they're just filled with, like, pencils and stuff. I've also been craving some coconut ice cream. <gasps> Ooh, they have Mitchell's here. Guys, if you're ever in San Francisco, you have to get Mitchell's ice cream. It looks like this. You can either get it at supermarkets like this or go to Mitchell's. It's on 
I want to say Guerrero Street and 30th possibly, but super good ice cream. It's like there's, they don't expand. It's like only in San Francisco. So yeah, it's super dank. I wonder what kinds these are. Mango. Oh, ube. They probably don't have grasshopper pie. Grasshopper pie is my favorite. It's like mint ice cream with fudge and what is it? And Oreos. And like they have like huge Oreo bits. They make it all in house. This is not sponsored by Mitchell's. <laughs> I'm just really, really hyped over their ice cream. Um, but I think that I want some coconut ice cream. Oh, I found my mom. Mom, I want to get these. Chocolate covered, or no, they're just chicken skins. I want to try chicken it. Chicken skins? Yeah. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, we used to eat this like every day. Sometimes we eat this and not even have meals. It's like so addicting. And I know that it's not only in America, but it's really hard to find in Canada. So for those of you that are in Canada, when you come to America, you gotta get some Cheetos. And the lime ones are my favorite. Say what you will, but they are awesome. Cái này, cái bánh gì boy hả? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, your boy some fast, um, fast belly. <laughs> <laughs> Pork, pork belly. Yeah, pork belly. But before I, I boil, I um, soak like a little bit salt mm -hmm. and sugar a little bit for like an hour or half. If you don't have time, half is fine or two hours is the best or half day is the good, the best. <laughs> <laughs> the more you soak, it's better. We have some jumbo shrimp, yeah. some vermicelli noodles. This is from yesterday. We ate. And I'm being super helpful in eating coconut pop This is my second one. They're so good. Okay, thank you for trying. Really quick. Maybe five minutes. Okay, so you gotta cut all the shrimp in half, like so. Mm -hmm. Slice it. And then you're gonna do the same thing. Thin slice for the pork. Mm -hmm. I'm being so helpful. I'm just eating. How long do you boil it for? 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Dine up like put it over. Hello, Cora. Mm-hmm. Alright, most important part, taste test. Here are all the greens, got some lettuce, some mint leaves, and cucumber, which you'll slice. This is for the peanut sauce that you're going to dip it into. And I want to add some water. So equal parts <laughs> poison sauce water, uh, mm -hmm. about seven tablespoons. One tablespoon of peanut butter, half tablespoon of white vinegar. Yeah. Over low heat. Do you want it? One can. This is called one can. It's the spring roll sheet. Yeah. Sheet. Rice yeah. sheet. Okay, this is deep into the warm water. That is uh, soft a little bit and easy for roll, but not too. too deep in the water. Make it quick and come out like this. Put it right here. And then we put the shrimp under like this. Shrimp first. Shrimp first. And then some pork like this. Two pieces like this. Oh, you love more. Just put a little bit more. How do you like it? Pork. And then Put some lettuce, mint, some bean brown. This is optional. You pretty much everything's can. optional. You can just make it as you like it. Yeah, and then cucumber right here, and some sticky noodle. Sticky noodle. We put. At last, because it's the soft and then easy to roll, and then it's All right. Warm. Okay. Rolling Both 
side in. It's kind of really soft right here. See, it's gentle. Put it in. And then here, you roll. It's kind of big. When you roll, gentle. Hold it and roll it. This is really big roll. <laughs> <laughs> I put a little bit too much. A lot. Yeah, but this is really big roll. But that's what it looks like. See, the shrimp is look nice. All right. Do you want to try it, Mai? Okay, here. Oh. <laughs> this is how we make like this. It look nice. Yeah, this is like a pepper sauce. This is pickled carrots um, and radish. That's the peanut the sauce. sauce and made. these are some roasted peanuts. Yeah, we put this first. Put some of this. And some. And this is the optional. It's spicy. It's really spicy. Nina, I want to try it. You can try it. <laughs> okay, this is how you eat. <laughs> Just dip it in and get some pickle here and mmm. Mmm. So good. Mmm. <laughs> Wait until you guys try it. It's so good. <laughs> And so cheap to do at home, okay? That is true. It actually is very cheap to do. Well, there you have it, guys. That is how you make spring rolls. Ryan makes them now. I'm hungry. But now you're in my way.